The heated rhetoric from some on the campaign trail here in the United States is upsetting many American Muslims. Ben Carson comparing Syrian refugees to rabid dogs. And Donald Trump, listen to what he said when asked if he would require Muslims to register in a national database. Oh, I would certainly implement that. Absolutely. If there's a, a rabid dog running around in your neighborhood, you're probably not going to assume something good about that dog. It's not just Republicans. The mayor of Roanoke, Virginia, a Democrat, brought up Japanese internment camps during World War II to justify keeping Syrian refugees out of Virginia. Joining me now is Rabia Ahmed, communications director for the Muslim Public Affairs Council in Washington. Welcome. Thank you. With, with terrorists in Mali forcing hostages to read the Quran and attackers in Paris killing in the name of Islam, uh, can you understand why many Americans are afraid at the moment? Oh, absolutely. Um, definitely. But we are, as American Muslims, are also afraid. Um, the very fact that I am here as an American born and raised citizen, a proud Midwestern girl, a, a mother, on national TV, having to speak out against the terrorist attacks of people a continent away is indicative of how those attacks affect our lives here in, in this country. Um, our struggle here is, is twofold. We have to push back against um, the extremist ideology overseas, defend ourselves physically from their attacks, but also have to deal with the political extremists in this country who choose to marginalize us instead of seeing us as their fellow count American counterparts. When the idea of um, American Muslims possibly having to register in, in, in a database, what went through your mind? I mean, it was very absurd and very surreal. I, I couldn't really believe that this was actually being said and that people were actually entertaining the idea and that more people weren't speaking out against this. I mean, is this responsible um, rhetoric coming from a potential presidential candidate? What kind of America are we trying to move forward to? Is, is this the America that, that we want to fight and, and stand up for it? Um, it's, it's, very, it's very alarming um, and it's actually very counterproductive because the political extremist ideologies that are coming from these presidential candidates is actually playing into the hands of ISIS and the terrorists abroad. They are trying to push a, a framework that promotes that the West is, in, is at war with Islam and Muslims. And by trying to just disenfranchise and marginalize Muslims, um, it only plays into their hands and promotes the ISIS agenda. So I would caution um, people to be very careful about what they're promoting, um, even if it's just to gain political points in election year. And just to be clear, um, you know, in that bill that went through the House that kind of puts a pause on the United States accepting Syrian refugees, you know, for the moment, is that a good idea? Look, we, we understand. We are all concerned about the security and safety of our nation. Um, we want security measures, of course, to be in place, and they should be, you know, in place across the board, but they shouldn't be targeted um, t uh, but to people based on their faith or based on people's emotions or fear. That's not the country um, that we are, and, and that's not how, how we make policies. Um, and I understand the fear, but I feel like we have to look at the facts and we have to make policies based on sound judgment. And, um, you know, just in, you know, I just wonder how people, have people been reacting to you in a different way since the Paris attacks? Has that happened? Yes, um, yeah, they have been, um, but we've seen both the bad and the good, um, and I, I don't want to focus on the bad. I, I would rather focus on the many um, gestures of outreach that we have received. That is the, you know, that is the future that I want for my kids, and that is the, the future that I'm going to work for. Rabia Ahmed, thanks for being with me this morning. Thank you. You're welcome.